Okay, so let's look now to see how we could simplify this expression with the k-map. So I'm going to start by labeling my k-map, okay? And you could turn the k-map the way I have, or it could have been turned the other way like that. It doesn't matter which way you choose to do that. So let's look at, um, I like to start with all my knots in the beginning, not A, not B. So this would be not C. So as I change from here to here, I change from not C to C. So I change from here to here, only one term can change. So this will be not A, B. It also could have been not B, A, just so you'll know. So only one thing can change. So this will be A, B. B stayed the same, A changed. And this will be A, not B. So now I'll go everywhere I have a term and put a 1. So I have not A, not B, not C. It goes here. Not A, not B, C. Here. A, not B, not C. Here. A, not B, C. Here. And A, B, C. Here. So I'll put zeros everywhere else. So now what I need to do is look for isolated ones. And I don't have any isolated ones in this expression. So the next thing I want to do then is look for the largest possible group. So there are two here, there are two here, there are two here. But again, this wraps around. So that's actually a group of four, which I prefer. The larger the group, the better the simplification. And then I have one here. I would rather overlap it into a pair than leave it isolated, so I'll have a group there as well. So let's look at what the two simplifications are. So this one would be, as I go across here, C changes from not C to C, and then from this line to this line, A changed. I have not A here, I have A here, so that term gives me not B. And for this loop, I have what? Um, I have from here to here, B changes. So I keep the A and throw away the B. And it's in the C column, so this would be A, C. So this expression would work out to be Y equals A, C, or not B. So I hope that helps just a little bit.